Hey y'all, welcome back to the show where we're getting up close and personal with some of the most incredible sea creatures from across the globe at the Texas State Aquarium. So let's send it over to Ariel Monte back in her hometown, Corpus Christi. Located in Corpus Christi's scenic North Beach, the Texas State Aquarium takes visitors on an incredible journey where they can encounter over 460 different species of spectacular aquatic life. Their mission? To engage people with animals, inspire appreciation for our seas, and to support wildlife conservation. Welcome to my hometown of Corpus Christi, Texas. Today, we're at a very special place. We're at the Texas State Aquarium, where I'm gonna take you on a journey where you're gonna meet some of the most magnificent animals you've ever seen. I met with the president and CEO of the Texas State Aquarium, Tom Schmid. So can you tell me a little bit about the overall experience here at the aquarium? Sure, so we're really excited about our Caribbean journey. This is a brand new expansion to the Texas State Aquarium that was finished a, a little less than a year ago, starting from the upland jungles through the coastal habitats and out into the big coral reefs. Visitors will be able to experience every habitat that you would imagine trekking through the Yucatan. Now with the Caribbean journey, we've, we're moving guests on a journey from the Gulf into the Western Caribbean Sea. What we really want to do is teach people about all the animals, but particularly there's a couple of target species, corals, sharks, sea turtles. For example, a lot of people are scared about sharks, and, and what we really try to get folks to understand is the vast majority of the sharks are, are completely harmless to people, but unfortunately, sharks have a lot more to fear from us. Believe it or not, a lot of the shark populations in the Atlantic are, are almost on the endangered status. There's a lot of exciting things for folks to do here. This is a great place for folks to have a great family experience. So from dolphins to river otters to our sharks, even our 4D theater, um, there's a lot to see here. It's really about a half day experience now. And so we hope folks come here, they experience all these things, but we also want them to learn a little bit along the way. Once again, thank you so much for sure. telling us a little bit more about the Texas State Aquarium. I'm super excited to get started, so come on, let's go ahead and go. From stingrays to barracudas to some pretty serious looking sharks, the aquarium's newest exhibit, Caribbean Journey, takes visitors deep below the surface to the twisted wreckage of a sunken Spanish ship, putting them face to face with some of the most infamous ocean predators. Okay, so where exactly are we? So we are in the Yucatan jungle. These are uh, our 12, 12 flamingos. There's uh, birds all around you. And then kind of once you get through here, you open up into the greater kind of coastal communities, which is our large uh, HEB shark habitat, as well as our coral reef exhibit. You said shark habitat. Shark habitat. The sharks, uh, all the eels, the stingrays are all right here. And so you're as close as, as you can be. And so it's kind of a unique experience and one of, one of the rare aquarium experiences in the country. And so a lot of people know what the Great Barrier Reef is off Australia. The Mesoamerican Barrier Reef is the second largest reef system in the world. We've got a, a smaller hawksbill sea turtle. Uh, this is a rescue animal from uh, the Padre Island National Seashore. You have this unique uh, view from above, but you can also go downstairs and you can look at it from underwater as well as get into a bubble and you can kind of see that. We actually uh, track how much they eat. How many calories does a shark eat? <laughs> 2,500 to 3,000 calories per feeding, which might be spread over a couple of days. These are some decent sized animals. Speaking of calories, it was time to feed these magnificent creatures. Nobody likes a hungry shark. So we start off by distracting our small fish. We have a lot of small fish in the exhibit and we wanna reduce the competition between all of the animals. We actually row out on a boat. Each of us will have a PVC pole that has a slit cut into the bottom and we'll put one to two fish on that pole and we'll focus on feeding one to two sharks at a time. So it takes the two of us up here feeding and then we actually have a third person that will be watching down below at the window below us and they're keeping a record with a clipboard. They're watching that feed, tracking how much they're getting. What exactly are you gonna feed them? So today we have a fish called Capelin and so it's a small cold water fish about six inches long. It's very high in protein but on other days, they also get something called jumbo squid, okay. which is a big squid that's about a foot long. Okay. Um, so we just like to offer them variety. Now that the sharks were fed and happy, it was time to meet another less intimidating critter. 
All right, we're here with Lauren Wilson, the curator for birds and mammals here at the Texas State Aquarium, and we have a very special guest. Would you like to introduce her? Yes, this is Zena. She is our two-toed Linnaeus sloth. She is about three years old, and guests can see her pretty much every day on exhibit or even sometimes free roaming around our free flight aviary. There you go, Zena. <laughs> How did she get the name Zena? Actually, is short for the order of mammals that she belongs to. <laughs> She's okay, she's just eating. <laughs> Bye, Zita. There are actually three different exclusive encounters that our guests can book here. There is a Feed the Fish, Feed the Flock, and Dolphin Discovery. So if anyone is interested in getting more behind the scenes with our animals and even get to feed some of our animals, booking one of those exclusive encounters is a must do. Oh, there you go. Y'all are incredibly messy eaters. <laughs> Flamingos actually feed by tipping their heads upside down. They will take a whole mouthful of water with all of those little invertebrates in it and filter it out of their beak. Don't go away. After the break, we get to encounter one of the ocean's friendliest and smartest creatures. We'll be right back. <laughs> 